Good morning and welcome to Exhaling in God's Arms. It is 1.38 a.m. Saturday morning, November 12, 2022. Since I was not able to go to sleep, knowing I have to be up, about 4 30 i decided to get into god's word and share with you all it was something that i read earlier because i'm still studying the book of luke so i went back towards the front which i was which i went back to chapter 8 luke chapter 8 and i'm gonna begin at verse 4. I pray that we all will receive God's word and apply it to our lives and walk in it, talk in it, and to be able to shine our lights upon others. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke chapter 8, verse 4. While a large crowd was gathering and people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on. And the birds of the air ate it. Some fell on a rock. And when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among thrones, which grew up with it and choked the plants. Still... Other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. A hundred times more than was sown. When he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him here. Verse 9. His disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said, Jesus said, the knowledge, listen to this, you guys, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but the others I speak in parables. So that those seeing through seeing, they may not see. Through hearing, they may not, they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. This is verse 11. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. Verse 13, those on the rock are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe, they believe for a while, but in time of testing, they will fall away. Verse 14, the seed that fell among thrones stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worry. They are choked by life's worries. Riches and pleasures 
and they do not mature. Verse 15, but the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, reduce, produce a crop. Amen. I hope you guys receive this word. Luke chapter 8 started at verse 4 down to verse 15. Yes, to 15. So that's Luke chapter 8 verse 4 to 15. Verses 4 through um, 15. This right here tells me that we have choices. We have choices. The seed is God's word. The seed is God's word. And if we want to receive that seed, apply it, walk in action, talk on it, utilize that word in a good way, let it land in us good soil. We are good soil. We receive it. We, we receive God's word. We spread God's word. We minister to other people. We teach God's word. We apply it to our own lives so other people can see that when we teach and we minister, we can show people the true God in us, the agape love, the true forgiveness. People come at you and do you a certain way. Say, Lord, forgive them for what they do not know. Because if they knew the Lord, they wouldn't come at you faulty. They wouldn't do negativity to you. They would think more they would think the first time to step to you in a negative way, knowing that you are a woman or a man of God, and you will take it to the Lord, you will pray for them because what he said, pray for your enemies. We don't have to do no harm to nobody else. We don't have to retaliate. We don't have to do none of that. So I hope you guys receive this word. This word, I received this. And it just shows us that we have good, we have choices. We have choices. And the choice for myself is that word falls on good soil. I want to understand God's word. I want to I want Father God to talk to me directly, not in parables. <laughs> his disciples asked him, this is verse 9. His disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said the knowledge of the secret of the kingdom, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to others I speak in parables so that through seeing they may not see, through hearing they may not understand. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. We have to be careful. Utilize that seed in the right way. Ask God to open up your ears for understanding. Open up your eyesight to see clearly what is he speaking to you. Thus says the Lord. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Receive God. 
Father God. There's many gods out there, so we have to be careful of just saying God. So many people worship different gods. There's only one Father God in heaven. One. Father God. So I just wanted to share that. I pray that (laughs) since I delivered this word, I will have a sweet sleep in the Lord and wake up refreshed and ready to enjoy this great Saturday. All I need is a couple of hours of sleep and I want to get up and be energized, me and my babies. So like I said, we have choices, you guys. We don't want to be like chapter, I mean, verse nine in chapter eight. We don't want, we don't want that. We don't want the knowledge of the secrets of the king. We don't want to be like what Jesus said, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but the others, we don't want to be like the others. I speak in parables. So that those seeing, they may not see. Though hearing, they may not understand. We do not want to be like the others. I am going to put that for the title. We do not want to be like the others. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. This is Excelling in God's Arms. Go back and read it for yourself. Gain understanding and knowledge. Pray before you read and pray after you read. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Father God, for helping me to deliver this message and not just to be woke and not focus on you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for installing this message inside of me as well. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you all. God bless.